In this video, we're going to create our size menu or navigation drawer, just like what you see here in this example. All right, so we got a size menu with different menu options. The good news is that we don't have to reinvent the wheel from scratch. Android already support this for us, and together, I will show you how to implement this into our app and how to customize the style to fit our UI design. Now, this is a long video, but trust me, it's super easy. The major task is I just um, copy and pasting and follow step by step with the documentation. And we only need to customize a little bit for the style configurations. Now, before to do that, um, let's go back to our project and create another screen, which is um, the customer screen. So that's when user uh, click on customer and hit the login with Facebook. Then it will redirect them to the customer screen. So to do that, we first uh, need to create a new activity. So under F, Java, and the first column, com example.lecho.tasker, right click here, new uh, activity, and select the uh, empty activity. All right, and this one, I'll just name it at customer main activity. All right, and you leave everything as the default and hit finish cool and it just say the project is sync in process all right it running upgrading cool so um as you can see here it just create a new customer main activity five for us and also under rest layout we just got a new activity customer main xml so this is the um, place where you design the customer main screen cool now what we want to do is that when someone click on the login with Facebook button it will jump to the customer main activity here now to do that first I'm gonna click here or you can click here that's fine and set the ID of this one so I'm going to call this one is button underscore login just an ID so you can name it to anything now let's go back to our sign in activities code double click on that here and what we're going to do we're going to create a button first i'm going to remove this one and instead i'm going to create a new button variable let's say button login now as you can see uh, because we just add a new class so immediately the android studio automatically import the relevant library for us that is because we set auto import in the preference before remember this one with two tech all right and just create new button variable button and here uh, to find this button we can say find views by id and we're going to pass id which is r uh, stand for resources dot id dot button login all right now so by saying this we mean this variable button will link to the login with Facebook because this one got an ID button login. And then we just need to say uh, button login dot set on click listener. We set new view and I want you to click on this view dot on click listener. Double click on that and it will generate the on click function for you. So that means um, every time you click on this login with Facebook button, it will execute the code inside this onclick function. And what we want to do is that we want to jump to or open the customer activity screen here. So what we want to do, very simple, just two line of course. The first we create a new intent, equal new intent, and we're going to pass two parameters. The first one is get application context. And the second one is a class or the activity that you want to jump to. In our case, it customer main activity dot class. All right. And then we just need to say, hey, start that activity for me. All right. By saying start in 10. Okay. Now just uh, click on this one to run the app. All right. If I hit the login with Facebook, hey, it jumped to the customer main activity. Cool, but it's blank at the moment. So now it's time for us to add the side menu or navigation drawer um, into this screen. 
Now, I want you to open your web browser and go into this uh, link that we show you before, uh, developer.android.com slash chaining slash implementing dash navigation slash nav dash draw. All right, so uh, from here, we're going to do step by step to implement the size menu into our project. Now first, add dependencies. So I'm going to copy these two. Now, by the time of this video, the version is um, 27.1.1, but I haven't tested this um, on this version. So we're going to use the version that's reliable. So I'm going to copy this too. Go back to our project. I want you to uh, click on the build.grader module. All right. We got two one, the project and the module, but I want you to click on the module because that's what we're going to implement. All right. So inside the dependency, uh, probably just here, I'll just paste one. Now notice that because our project using the API 26.0.0, so we're going to use that one as well to make it consistent. All right, so I'm going to remove, play this one with 26.1.0. All right, and after that, make sure that you hit the sinks now here. Okay, it's still running. Looks good. Now go back to uh, the documents and following with the instruction, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy everything here, or you can click on this one, click to copy and go back to our project. And I want you to open the rest layout and the activity customer main. All right, double click on this one. And remember that we here, we got two mode. You've got a design mode, which is uh, so you can drag and drop uh, the component, or you can go into text mode, all right? Uh, same thing, so you can manipulate the XML here. So I want you to remove everything here and paste the code that we got from the documents. Next, we're going to create a menu layout for the drawer to list all of the menu item. So what I want you to do, right click on the rest folder, new uh, Android resource five. And for the file name, we, uh, we can name it, let's say drawer, uh, let's say drawer view. Okay. And the resource type, we change it to menu. Yeah, that's it. Leave everything as default and hit OK. Cool. So this is going to ask a menu where we can to list the item here. Now let's go back to the document. And I'm going to copy all of these. See that? Uh, create a menu resource with the corresponding file name. All right, so I'm going to copy all of these. Copy. Go back here and switch to the text mode. Remove everything here. And paste the one that we just got from the document. Of course, you're going to um, error here. And we're going to update this one. The first one, um, we're going to change this one to rest restaurant. And for the icon, uh, we, we're we going to use um, the, yeah, there we go. And for a string, we name this one at restaurant. All right, very simple. Uh, keep going with the other one. Let's say this one, we name it tray. And this one is icon tray. All right, remember that we got the dress and drawable and we got different icons here. All right, so that's why you can uh, get it from a list here. So this one we say tray and this one, uh, let's say nav, name it as nav order and we put it icon order. Um, we name this one, let's say, I'll just say order. All right, so this last one is nav lock out and we link to the icon lock out and call this one as, oops, lock out. All right, so see that we got different menu item. Now also we need to add um, one line into our activity customer main. So let's go back to our activity customer main, um, which is this one, 
All right, let's go back here. Up here, we need to add this one. So I just copy this line, copy, and go back here. All right. Cool. So make sure that you copy that slide uh, under the activity custom main. So that's mean we're going to add the um, drawer menu into the activity customer main. Now we have a drawer menu. We still need to create a nav header for this menu. So if you scroll up here, the nav header is this area of the menu. All right. So let's scroll down. We need to add the header to the nav drawer and then we need to create one. So let's go back to our project. Right click on the layout, rest layout, right click on layout, new and layout resource file. And I'm gonna name this one as nav header.xml, okay? And for this one, um, that's fine. We can leave everything as default and hit okay. Cool. Now I want you to change to the text mode. And of course I'm gonna remove everything here. Let's go back to our document. I'm gonna copy, remember that we under the add header to the net drawer, copy this one, go back here and paste it here. All right, can you see that? So now we got a nice header on our menu. And we also need to add this header to our activity customer main menu. So I'll just put this here. Let's go back here and see what we need to do next. Okay, so, so far so good. We've done all of the layout configuration, but to make it work, um, we need to add some code to handle the um, navigation click events. All right, so that's what we're going to do here. But first, let me go back to our code. Um, let's go to our customer main activity. All right, right now we don't have anything here. So what I wanted to do is just go back here. I've, so inside the handle navigation click event session, I'll just copy this line first, copy, go back here, um, make it as a global variable, all right? And then go back here. I wanted to copy everything from here to here, all right? Except these two lines because we already got it, just copy and inside here, just paste it. Now make sure that you got the ID, draw layouts and uh, the net view exactly the same as uh, the net header and draw view that we just uh, create here. So basically what this bit of code does is that it will handle the events uh, when user open the drawer and select a menu item then it would set a menu item check and close the drawer. That's why we see here. Menu item check and close the drawer. Now let's try to run the app and see what's happening. I click on login with Facebook. So we are in the customer main activity. So if you want to open the side menu, Click the mouse over here and swipe from left to right, just like this one. Hey, look at this. And if you can click the restaurant, all right, see that? It just highlight um, and then it close the menu. Did it because here we got a function on navigation item selected. So that's mean if you select an item on the navigation, first it set the menu item check to true and then close the menu item. All right, try that one again, swipe is a bit tricky, swipe from left to right and click the other button. Cool. So that's why we got the nav header, which is this one. And we got the drawer menu, double click, uh, which is every single item here. All right. And all of that, if you open the activity customer mains, um, the way we add the menu drawer and the menu header is in here. Right, so that's why in a customer main activity, you can see the navigation with the nav header and the drawer. Now, but it would be even better if we have a menu icon, all right, uh, up here. 
to click on that to open the navigation rather than uh, you have to swipe from left to right. Let's go back to our documentation. All right, so moving on, here's what I'm talking about. It would be awesome if you have this kind of button. You click on this to open the menu. Scroll on a bit down, and here's what we're going to do. First, we need to add the toolbars to our layout. So what we're going to do, and inside here, well, actually, I'm going to copy this one. Copy. And go back to our activity customer main XML. Uh, you can find it under REST layout and activity customer main here. And inside this one, probably, I'll just uh, close this one. We paste it here. All right, first, I'm going to change this one from frame, frame layout to linear layout. And then I'm going to move this frame layout inside here. And for this one, we don't need to get the ID, so I just uh, remove that. And actually, uh, inside this one, we need to add the Android um, orientation. We set it to vertical. So now we should have the toolbar up here on the layouts, but it's not functioning as an app bar. Now to make it work, um, let's add some code into our customer main activity. So let's go back to the dock and let's scroll a bit down. All right, so to set the toolbar as an action bar, you need to add those two code. So just copy this one and probably paste it here. All right, so here you, um, for the toolbar, you've got a multiple option. Uh, so just click on it. It's a bit tricky because our toolbar have a multiple option, multiple libraries have a toolbar. So we need to decide which library we need to uh, import up here. So I'll just hover the mouse over here and probably click on it. All right, so we're going to press and enter. All right, so we got two options and the correct option is Android support v7 widget. All right, just click on that. All right, so it just import this one. Perfect. Now next, um, to add the nap drawer button, uh, we need to add those three lines. So I just uh, copy this one, go back here, and paste here. Action bar. Cool. Um, let's see. Okay, no, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, if you want, you can try to run the app. Okay, click on login with Facebook. Hey, look at this. So now we got the very nice uh, Futasker set bar. If you click on this one, mm, nothing's working. All right, so um, those two code we just add, uh, just make sure that we got the um, the toolbar, but to make it work, we need to add the event function for that button, for this button, and tell it what to do when user tap on this one. So let's go back here, let's go back to the document, um, to open the drawer when the button is tapped. Okay, um, here's what to do. We already got this one, so don't worry about that. So just copy this, copy, move here, and paste it. All right, make sure that you paste it outside of the onCreate function. All right, so now just run it again. All right, so moment of truth, click on login and click on this button. Hey, look at this. So once you tap on that, you just open the drawer and if you can click outside, it close. Click on this one, tap again, click on the menu tray item, it's closed. Cool, but as you can see, we still have a couple of issues. The first, the layout here doesn't look good. Um, if you click on this one, the nav bar is way too big, and the, those many items got a white background color. So we don't want it. Uh, we want to have it dark colors. And the second thing is that if you click on those menu, it just uh, got different color, and we're going to fix this one. Alright, so in the next video, I will show you how to fix those issues. See you then.